now we will see an example of resistances in our roadways or in short we call roadways dynamics so this in this example we will calculate the resistances in our roadways and we will calculate it how much power we need to apply or how much power we apply okay so what is the problem a straight road a segment with an upgrade of five percent that means it is a uphill 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 means when we'll go uphill there will be a resistance some the the component of our weight parallel to the road will pull us back okay then speed limit 65 that means the car is expected to drive at or run at 65 mile per hour wind speed of 33.63 mile per hour toward uh, southwest now so we are going to north and the wind is coming southeast that means we are going this way and the wind is coming this way that means uh, the component of wind along this way this way will resist us so we are going this way wind is coming that way that that will be the combined resistance for so that we speed will be used to calculate the uh, resistance for air okay what is the minimum power of a 4000 car with a cross sectional area of 40 square feet to drive at an acceleration of 3 feet per square second that means we need to maintain the acceleration of 3 what should be our power uh, drag coefficient is given 0.6 air density is 0.00237 which is very common okay so what we will do we will find the resistance first once we know the resistance applied force minus resistance force equals ma so we know that whatever force we apply some will be lost by the resistance so let us find the resistance first to find resistance we need the e speed let us convert the e speed okay so here uh, what i did here uh, whatever is speed so uh, my wind is coming this way and my vehicle is going this way so what is the net speed net air speed with respect to uh, the car so i am going 65 this way 65 plus because it is coming opposite that is my net uh, net uh, uh, wind on my on my on my car so uh, this is speed times cosine angle cosine angle is 45 because it is southwest or northwest this angle is 45 is approximation uh, if you see other books they might uh, neglect uh, the wind speed they can they either they consider the vehicle speed or if the vehicle is is, is at rest they consider the wind speed anyone not uh, both whatever is uh, higher so my logic is to consider both because if I drive faster and if the there is no wind no wind means the wind speed is very very small so if I increase my speed there will be more resistance on the other hand if I get more wind speed I'll get more resistance so actually it's a summation of both of both the car speed and the wind speed okay now the, the, this speed is given uh, now what is here okay here so before starting a minus all the resistance equals ma so uh, this combined we call effective so we need to maintain the acceleration of three and we know the mass force is given or the weight is given divided by g is my mass so effective mass a is this that means this amount of force must be available that should be effective then we will consider what should be the applied what should be the applied that means we know this portion that means whole portion is known we'll calculate this one this one and this one then then we can calculate this portion okay so we need to convert our speed to feet per second because in the equation we use feet per second not mile per hour so 88.78 mile per hour why 88 it is the net speed of the car with respect to the uh, wind and this is only our car speed so we convert it into feet per second then we we calculated our air resistance which is rho it is density 
and drag coefficient area projected area and the net speed we found this resistance rolling resistance is mu watt times w mu watt is dependent on velocity so this velocity is only the car velocity we do not consider any wind velocity here we do not consider any wind velocity is here okay so we found the um, rolling resistance then grade resistance it is uphill weight times the grade in fraction so grade is five percent uphill so it is a positive so we found 200 so these three are my resistance so then what is my equation effective is applied force minus resistance we know my we know the effective force we calculated 373 plus all the resistances so total I need to apply 1121 now again to understand I need to apply 1121 to produce that acceleration but this amount of force will be lost this amount of will be lost only this 373 will be working to produce the acceleration so hopefully you understood the meaning of uh, applied force and resistive force uh, and the effective force effective force is applied minus the resistance now the problem is asking what is the power because sometimes we use power for our car so when you buy a truck or car they say that uh, this car has 120 horsepower that means it can apply that amount of power what is power? that power power is f times b we saw it in our work and um, power chapter or kinematics uh, chapter that power is force time velocity so we know the force we, we, we are applying and we know the, velo the velocity now this time we are applying the car velocity we are not considering the wind wind velocity we want only consider in your resistance nowhere else everywhere is our car velocity here also car velocity so we got this amount of pound feet per second that is the unit of the power for the us unit pound feet is the unit of work work divided by second is power we know that 550 pound per pound feet per second equals one horsepower so we divide by this to find the horsepower that means we are applying 194 horsepower so we are applying 194 horsepower that is producing this amount of force at this speed of this force only 373 is effective everything else is uh, resistance so hopefully you understood this uh, example again to clarify that when i consider your resistance i consider both the car speed and the wind speed most of the books use only car speed not the wind because it is very difficult to measure or predict the direction so that is okay also if you do not consider wind speed here if you consider only car speed which is 95.33 uh, nobody will mind even I will yeah. not um, I will not mind but to be more accurate we should speed we should use the car speed also okay we will st uh, stop here hopefully you understood this example is very good example to understand uh, the road dynamics especially for uh, f equals ma equation uh, thank you